Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome to this basic sailcraft tutorial for From the Depths. And to start off with, you must ask the immortal question, why would you make a sailboat? There's all kinds of ways to make your craft go and go fast in From the Depths. Why would you use sails? Well, as far as I can tell, there's two main reasons to make a sailcraft in is number one, it requires no materials to move, so it's free movement, and that's basically it. And it's non-exploity, so there are other ways of uh, getting your craft moving actually pretty fast entirely for free. You can do wacky things with spin blocks and wings, I've made videos on that before. You can use daddy blades, you can use all kinds of goofy stuff. Uh, but sails are, well, reasonably straightforward and they don't have the guilt factor of breaking the game. Uh, involved so like it's in also it's fun did I I should mention that it's fun so uh, to start off with I'd like to point out that there are two kinds of sails so you go to the water section here we have all these sail related stuff you have the sail main block uh, you have the sail main block for square rig sail attachment sail winch and two kinds of weather vane which just point in whatever direction the wind is pointing in and you'll notice uh, that the, in build mode there's two lines showing up, and that's the wind direction. So, you know, this thing doesn't actually have a weather vane on it, which is no good. So you see, it points in the direction the wind is pointing, which is just handy to know uh, what your uh, sail is doing. So how this works is you've got the sail main thing down here, which is going to focus on the regular main block for now. It's there in the corner, then you have the sail attachment going up here, and you have winches on the ends in order to uh, raise and lower the sail itself. And speaking of the main uh, block, I do tend to find that uh, the regular main block um, works better than the square one. I have trouble ex figuring out why that is, uh, but the regular one just seems to you get better speed out of it. And... Uh, like, so, I don't know, square sails just don't seem to work quite as well as the non-square ones. And also, sails seem to work better when arranged parallel, um, or in the same direction as the hull. So there's kind of, this thing's arranged in a line, as you can see, as opposed to uh, something else. So this little yacht is skimming along uh, quite nicely at over 20 meters per second. So, there's a lot to, and there's a few things to unpack to make sails good. Um, number one thing that you need to do once you've put a sail on your craft is this option over here uh, in the AI uh, adjustments tab and is the upward pathfinding. So you need to uncheck this box uh, because sailboats often cannot travel upwind. Uncheck this box if your vehicle relies heavily on sails and I completely forgot this was an option uh, here at all. Uh, but it is an option, so here it is. The, you need to uncheck that box because otherwise uh, your pathfinding is going to be terrible. Your uh, craft will be sailing against the wind all the time, and that's no good. And another thing you need to think about is that if you have a sail on your craft, or at least if you're doing uh, something like this, you have an actual sail like a yacht, uh, this is a lot of blocks that are poking up uh, very tall, so you need to have ballast to counteract that. So that is why uh, the little uh, hydrofoil pods on this thing uh, are made of lead. So that even if this thing stops, uh, it ends up pointing the right way. And you'll see that this thing sinks and almost rolls over, but then the lead gets it uh, back going again. And this is actually the first uh, sailboat I'm reasonably happy with. Uh, and you can tell that because uh, when... Uh, the sails are raised, and it picks up speed again. It does kind of uh, flop about a little bit uh, before it falls into a nice rhythm. And incidentally, um, you need to set the sail winches. In order to uh, have your sail control itself, you need to go over to them, hit Q on them. And in this particular case, uh, sailcraft don't tend to do the whole reversing thing very well. Uh, so, in this case, the response of the thruster is just set 100% to forward, and the resting state of the winch is zero. So that means uh, when you've got the sail uh, humming along like this, it goes, um, the sail is up, and if it needs to slow down, the sail is winched down, and it just works very well. And when you turn the thing off, the sail is collapsed, 
and it comes to a stop. And that's very handy, because if you don't do that, if you just leave the winches on the default setting, uh, what happens is that uh, the thing is essentially uncontrollable. The wind is always blowing it around, and that is no good. So yeah, I've already gone over my crib notes in exactly the wrong order, so that's nice. Okay, so let us compare uh, things. So this is a slightly bigger uh, cargo yacht, and we're just gonna get this fella to uh, drive around a little bit like so. And I do actually like the shape of sails. I'm not a fan of the texture of them, but uh, it's okay. So this guy has a honking big sail and travels at a maximum speed of about 37 meters per second, which is damn good for a boat that doesn't have an engine at all. Um, but yeah, more on how to get them fast later. So this is a comparison on how uh, the square sails work. So this one's upside down because I wanted to keep uh, the center of mass low. So you, my friend, chase him. Or her, as the case might be. And for some reason, sails um, that are arranged like this, uh, facing forward and back, they just don't work as well. You don't seem to get as much speed with them, and I do not know why that is. Uh, so I only started messing with sails not too long ago. Like, this would make more sense for catching the wind, but I guess not. So this thing has a max speed of about, let's see, 13 meters per second, as opposed to the... Um, absolute juggernaut of speed uh, we're going over 30 over here the good news is is that uh, multiple sails do add up so if you do want to make a square sail thing you can uh, just do this you can just go uh, completely bananas uh, with all the sails so go here and you see this thing is humming along uh, quite fast very fast indeed well not that fast its maximum speed actually got up to 42 meters per second at one point. It depends on whether the wind is at your back or not. But yeah, so if you want square sails, just make sure you have lots of them, and then uh, you get good results. This is a little bit silly. Okay, so you'll notice that all of these little sail casts, so this thing over here and uh, going back uh, over here. Uh, wait, where the hell was my first one? Oh. No, let's go, uh, let's go over here, because you're doing good. You'll notice this thing is actually flying out of the water. How did you do that? I swear, this always happens on camera. On camera it happens, it never happens off camera. But in any case, uh, so you'll notice this thing is going airborne a lot. And so, uh, these things go faster when they have less drag. So, in my experiments uh, with a uh, little sailcraft like this, um, water drag is your biggest enemy, so... Actually having a fast-moving sail boat or sail craft, more on why I'm saying craft later, um, you need minimum drag and that means getting the thing up and out of the water. So these things are covered with hydrofoils on the underside in order to get them out of the water as much as possible because that's the advantage of sails. Um, if you're using repellers, you do need to line them up with the center of drag and that means having a not inconsiderable amount of your craft uh, in the water. So it's like you're spending materials, you're burning fuel, and goodness me, you're flying over there as well. I swear this didn't happen off camera. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, so propellers are burning material in order to compensate partially for the drag that has to happen from you using propellers, which is annoying. And um, so sails uh, allow you to propel your thing, um, your craft, uh, while keeping stuff out of the water completely and without burning materials at all. So it's like, not as fast as a custom jet or even regular jets or stuff like that, but still, you can do a decent pace uh, with no power at all. And since the thing is out of the water, I find that it's actually more helpful to use uh, aircraft component. Well, yeah, strong breeze over there, that's a problem. It's actually more helpful to use aircraft components um, with sail uh, craft in order to control them because um, dipping a rudder into the water right here is a great way to unbalance the thing. And yeah, as you've noticed, these things tend to pitch and roll a lot because, well, they're being blown around by the wind. So if I activate uh, the forces uh, button, which is the backslash key, in case you're wondering, uh, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of uh, aero elevators uh, right here, so it's found in the air section right here, control surfaces. Um, 
that are actually controlling this thing. So, honestly, the best way to make a sailing craft that uh, travels at a decent pace is to design it like a racing yacht. So if you've ever seen one of those things, it's like if you've heard of the America's Cup, you will know what I'm talking about. Those things are actually amazingly advanced technology. They come almost completely out of the water. So they're just touching the water and then the wind sends them racing along at a breakneck pace. So yeah, like designing your sailcraft like that would um, actually be a good idea. So here you have, whoops, you, here you have the uh, air rudders at the back, you've got air elevators, and uh, you can even use wings on them. So, uh, you can make these things fly. So, the reason I'm saying sailcraft instead of sail, instead of just sailboats is because you can make airships out of these things. This is an airship propelled entirely by the wind, and it flies. And its maximum speed is actually 60 meters per second, or more than that when the wind's at its back. And it has multiple masts, so um, you're getting that weird stacking bonus uh, from just having lots of sails. And it looks kind of like a fish, and I love it. So, this thing is beautiful. So, you can have an airship going at over 50 meters per second, and it's not using any engine power, it's not using any materials to move, and you'll notice that all of these things have a huge amount of material storage, because this is actually a pretty decent way to get cargo craft. Uh, that don't cost anything to run. They're not, it's arguably not the best way to get free to move cargo craft, but it is very cheap. So, sails are cheap as hell. So, you see this? Uh, the sail attachments are just one material each. You only need one uh, sail main block unless you have multiple uh, sail setups. And the sail winch is 1.5. So, they're so cheap. So, the other way I like to use, which is to use a. Uh, um, wings on spin blocks to act as a kind of propeller, you'll notice that wings are five materials, so this is actually very damn cheap. This airship is only 6,000 materials, and it's carrying uh, 169,000 materials, so you could make uh, actually a pretty decent sized ship just with what this is carrying, so that's nice. And uh, this guy is carrying even more, so 250,500, so you may imagine you make a bigger version of this, uh, maybe put some um, refineries on it, and you've got something that moves for free, but carries a huge amount of materials, and not an exploit to be seen. So those of you who hate using exploits will love it, I guarantee you. And this guy is, uh, we're just going to declare a failure because it's trying to be a flying thing, and it's not qualified. This thing's qualified to be a flying thing. And let's see, what have I, what have I talked about? Uh, I've talked about that, I've talked about this, I've talked about that, and yep, 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 yep. Okay, so the big question is, can you actually make decent combat craft with sails? Because uh, there are craft in the Nito campaign and elsewhere that um, they have sails, but they're not... I don't think they really strike fear into people's hearts, because... They tend to be things uh, like this, so let's go here. And most of them actually have uh, backup propellers as well. So the green field, for instance, has a whole bunch of sails. It's not very fast. It's uh, armed with simple weapons. It's tipping over by the looks of it. So actually, no, it is decently fast. 21 meters per second. And yeah, it uses propellers, so it's not an entirely... People are being noisy outside and I don't like it. It's gorgeous, actually, but, um, yeah, I think it's actually using sails to steer, which is interesting. I didn't actually bother to, um, uh, reverse engineer it. Nope, there's got rudders there. So anyway, so a lot of the craft you see in Neater, um, are not pure, uh, purely sail-driven. Uh, they are, uh, actually using propellers as well, which is a little bit cheaty, but also, you know, like, what are you gonna do? What are you supposed to do, actually? But it is entirely possible to make something that's entirely sail power that's actually kind of decent in a fight. So I have made one. So here it is. Uh, this took a little bit of fiddling, and you would look at this and you think, what the hell is this thing? Uh, this has internal sail. So you'll notice that the masts I have on all the previous uh, sailcraft, you've got like uh, the mast itself and the sail attachments are behind it. Uh, Sails are a little bit cheaty in that you can completely internalize them. 
and they still work. Somehow the wind still gets to them. So this guy isn't particularly fast because the sails don't have a huge area. Faster speed is about 30 meters per second. That's if the wind is uh, at its back. But same principles that uh, we are all talking about before, if you're using the blue fine. Hydrofoils underneath to keep it out of the water, which, by the way, um, these things, um, they're not controlled by anything. They're just set to a resting angle of 45 degrees, and they stay that way. It's got a whole bunch of broadside guns just because I felt like it. It's uh, got multi two separate ammo compartments. It's got this AI compartment over here that has stone. Uh, internalized air rudders, because also these things uh, work uh, when you're just inside and for a look at the maneuver it's airplane 2.0 so this is um actually what i wish uh, was the airship uh, that i showed earlier this is what it uses and it pitches towards target point so it can control its altitude so sails make it go zoom and then pitch control makes it go up and that's how it controls itself and i should probably upload onto the workshop examples of all these things so people can actually look at them that's a good idea i usually forget and people have to ask but yeah, and also circle at a distance, it's not, it's kind of expensive. Uh, part of the problem with using sails to repel things is that uh, they're not as strong as other things. And a lot of the fighty-fighty components of craft, such as APS guns, uh, like these ones, they tend to be heavy. So that does mess with the whole getting the thing airborne if you want to make an airship or not. Actually, if I do this, what happens? Absolutely nothing, because it comes to a dead halt. Also, this entire thing is made out of alloy, so it floats ridiculously well. Uh, not always the best idea, but there you go. So, uh, since this thing is packing uh, armor-penetrating heat frag shells, it actually makes a bit of a mess on a lot of things. So, let's fight the Conestoga. Why not? So, this isn't even a complete combat craft, but uh, it does do the trick. It does do stuff. Oh, I forgot about this thing. It's not really a combat craft, is it? Really need to put better detection on me boat. Bounces around quite nicely. I forgot that I had that awesome cram sound effect mod installed. But I'm glad that I remembered. And so yeah, this thing bounces around and does things and shoots at things. And there's really nothing preventing you from making a larger version like this with uh, perhaps more sensible, sensible weaponry and um, uh, countermeasures and active defenses and all that jazz. Still got to work out the kinks with the circle at a distance. But yeah, so you can make uh, sailcraft without vulnerable sails. And it's quite nice. So yeah, uh, that's sailcraft for you. This really doesn't look like it, because so, you, you would never know if I never told you. Ha 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 ha. But yeah, Sailcraft. They're more viable than I thought they were, for one thing, and really, like, if like if you want to make a sail thing, like, making a sail-powered airship is an absolute joy, and I highly recommend it. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon. Or a YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.